Good evening, everybody. It is my pleasure to introduce to you the one and only Lady of the Spice, Regina DeChico. Woo! Oh my God. <laughs> I was like, should I peek out? Should I not peek out? What should I do? You guys already all saw me. It's not a surprise. How are we doing on this Friday, everybody? We may yes, that's what I want to hear. More wolf noises. <laughs> we don't get enough of those. People don't know how to get excited anymore. We don't know how to interact with people anymore. Am I right? It's we are struggling. We are struggling. As I said, I was in the elevator with a guy and his dog, and he was like, say good morning. And I was like, good morning. And he's like, I was talking to the dog. And I was like, okay, like we're not doing well. I was in a show I talked about baking during the pandemic. This guy just started listing what his wife made. But like as if everyone wanted to hear it. He was like, well, one time. She made some pumpernick. He just went, and we just listened. We just listened because we've got nowhere else to go. We're not used to talking to other people. It's a weird time. It is a weird time. But now foreigners are back. Have you guys seen? And I mean this in a good way. But the borders, <laughs> the borders are open. And the people are back. I was doing a show on Monday. I would tell a joke, people would laugh, then there'd be this weird side conversation where they'd be talking and then a laugh. And then at first I'm like, they hate me. They hate me. Are they talking about me? Do they hate me? I, they were all from France. They were from France. So did they hate me? Perhaps, because they were French. But more importantly, it was like nobody spoke English in the group. They just all came to a comedy show. It was like people from France, people from Germany. I couldn't imagine traveling to another country where I didn't speak the language and the first thing they'd be like, what do you want to do? Do you want to go to a museum? Do you want to see the sites? And they'd be like, no, I want to hear someone give a speech in the native language. Do you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't make, would you ever do that? And I'm like, why are you here? Why are you here? You're Germany, you're not here for a long time. What are you doing at this comedy club? Same thing with France. But all these people here, they don't speak the language. It blows my mind a little bit, you guys. It blows my mind. Oh, but here we are. This skirt is fabulous, by the way. Wait, no, it's a whole dress. It's a whole dress. I didn't see. It also matches this ottoman. I'm not going to lie about it. Listen, this room is decorated in your wear. <laughs> just so you know. They're like, you love sequins? We love sequins at the Spice. <laughs> We've done it. We've. Oh, look at you being like, girl, you did not talk about me. We didn't talk about you. Your pants are also sparkling. What about my tablecloth, oh, Regina? My, you know, that's what I mean. <laughs> Mickey, listen, we could make you a whole wardrobe out of what Mickey's covered this room in. <laughs> Mickey's vomited sparkles in this room. And then... <laughs> It's wild in here. Oh my god! Well, those are very sparkly pants. I'm also loving the pink shirt. The whole thing is working. Did you want? Did you need more? Do you want to stand up and show everybody? Because I feel like you just show the people. <laughs> Everyone just needs to have their moment these days, right? That's what's going on. We need to just we just need to just have the moment. So last week, Mickey, I was talking about Invis. I'm doing Invisalign. They're not on my teeth. Did anyone here straighten their teeth at all as an adult? Oh yeah. Oh wait. <laughs> What did you do, Mickey? Four and a half years of braces. Oh, my, so you did hardcore braces. Hardcore. Did you wish we had masks back then? It was... <laughs> <laughs> no, it's such a... Because I literally was like, I'm going to start doing Invisalign. My bottom teeth are bothering me. We were home. It was a great time. Then they came up with a vaccine. I was like, you have to be kidding me! <laughs> because I just wanted to stay at home. And then someone was telling me, he, he's about to start Invisalign, a friend of mine that's a comic. But he was like, oh, it's good because they said it's like an Invisalign diet. Because, like, you have to take them off to eat a snack. I was like, what's wrong? Like, you don't look at a box of donuts and you're like, how do I get in there? Like, you just take your Invisalign off. Do you know what I mean? I was like, what do you mean? You just pop them out. Mickey, they're not in yeah. right now because I'm drinking. Like dentures. <laughs> like, I was like, how does it? You don't get, like, foiled by snacks. You just get in the snacks. You know what I mean? It doesn't make sense. But I did tell him. So I, I went to my doctor. Dr. Weinstein is my dentist. And I was like, I'm going to do the Invisalign, but it's so important I sound the same. I need to sound the same. He's like, don't worry, Regina, you're going to sound the same. I pop them in for the first time. I start talking. He's like, oh, my God, you sound the same. And I was like, Weinstein, <laughs> I asked you one question. Like, why do you sound surprised? But he assured me. He's like, no, no, you should take some time. It takes some time. And I was like, yeah, but don't tell me that it's going to sound the same. You know what I mean? I hear it's you. crazy. Did you swear at him? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> so me and Nikki always joke because, like, because whenever I see Mickey, I feel like I think of work, and then I think of The View, and then I think of Disney, and I'm like, do it like it has to be so super clean. And then Mickey's like, you know you can curse, right? And I don't always. So just for everybody, fuck! <laughs> you just hear it. Yes. It's like, I do. There we go. Oh, look at Mary Lee's like, yes, they're excited. These people are excited. Because I don't. I don't. I hope oh, my God, look at Natasha's hair. Work it today. Yes. No, not baby Olivia. Tracy, what did I say? 
way. No baby Olivia, there was going to be cursing. If baby, look at baby, if baby Olivia's first word is fuck. It's my <laughs> fault. It's my fault. No, no baby, no baby. We're so responsible for this. The virtual audience raised this baby. You come to the Spice now every week. No, baby Olivia, no, 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 don't laugh. Don't laugh. It's terrible. Oh my goodness. It's guys, I'm sorry. We're just ruining children. That's what's happening. We try. We do what we can, but it's hard. But I, I don't mind cursing. You, we don't mind. We just, it's just what we do. My God, no, wait, Frank, how did you guys meet? How did you two meet? Me and Hillary? Yes, how did you and Hillary meet? Uh, we got set up. Oh, yeah. Okay, set up by who? By who? A mutual friend. I like it. Oh my, look, who has that many cartoonists in their life? Okay, only Frank and Hillary. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> right, and now look at you. You've got two. This is what, and how long have you guys been together? Look at you, just take a sip. You're like, I'm so busy with this drink. I can't answer these questions. Frank's literally trying to buy so much time, Hillary. Wait till you see. Frank's like, oh my God, isn't anyone drinking cocktails? Um, you guys busy drinking? <laughs> how long have you been together? It's complicated. <laughs> we, li we like to ask the tough questions at the Spice, oh, don't we, we Mickey? Do. We do. Listen, we're going to hear the other half when Hillary gets here, but this is the Frank half of the <laughs> questioning. Look at Frank drinking again. We had a dog for a year. What does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> are the rest of you like we want answers? How are you? <laughs> no, how are you all connected? <laughs> Wait, so, oh my God, we've really touched on. Mickey, change all the questions. Change all I'm the questions, Mickey. I'm on it. Mickey. What's that guy's name, questions. Frank? What? Yeah, yeah. All right. This is Frank. So, we know. How, how did you all become friends with them? Let's find out. We know Mickey. But you need to, <laughs> you're just nosy and you want to know what's going on with Frank and Hillary? Well, you just jumped right in. You're like, I don't even know them, but I need to know Hillary's business. This is what I like to hear. It's complicated. It's complicated. <laughs> it's complicated. You're like, I need to know. This is perfect. How about, how about you guys? You do know them, yes? Oh, my God, and you need answers. You've heard some version. Are you going to share? Because for some reason, Frank has absolutely no story. A dog. He brought in the dog. I don't know how the dog is involved. Well, how long have you been together? We have a dog. <laughs> and I was like, I don't think that's an answer to a relationship question. Is the dog doing well? Too well. Too well. Does the dog want to make it official? She eats great food. What's the dog's name? Margie. Margie. I love it. Wait, Margie. Oh, good. Let's not. What? <laughs> We can't even get the dog's name right. Okay, guys, this relationship has a lot of questions. It has, so how do you know, or who did you know? Who did you? I've known Hillary for six years. For six years? Together for five of them. For five of them. Okay, oh, oh, into, okay, listen, more questions, Mickey. Get that on there. Got that. Got <laughs> Mickey, change the whole format. We're really getting somewhere tonight. I didn't expect it. And how about you? How do you know them? I have known Hillary a year. Okay, okay. Okay, a friend of a friend. All right, I was it a cartoonist or no? No, so it wasn't like Frank's. Story. Okay, good. I'm just checking in. Okay, good. Do you need to know some answers? It's your only card. So you're a, a solo. You're a monogamous cartoonist friend. Unlike Frank over here is like yeah, all the cartoonists. Frank's just got left and right cartoonists. But you're like no, I do one and done. That's it for me. Oh, good. This is good to hear. This is good to hear. And uh, we know about your pants. Again, we're back to your pants. We should have, oh, this is good. This is good. You guys are fun. It's just nice to be out in front of the people, you know? It's nice to be out in front of the people. It's true. This is a story I, I didn't tell before. So I got called to do uh, stand-up comedy at a post-prom. Did you guys know this existed? So, you wait, You went to post comedy at a post-prom? They do, a, And they do a post-prom because they want kids to make good decisions, right? They're like, oh, instead of getting crazy, do this post-prom. What, what happened at this post-prom? And this was yours, specifically. It, wait, what do you mean it was crazy? It was at Seaside. Oh, my goodness. Oh, this sounds wild already. So this was not parent-sanctioned, is what you're saying. No, this is what you decided. So I was saying there's some parents that decide what the kids are going to do post-prom because they don't want the kids to make bad decisions. So like when I was in high school, there was a committee. There was a committee, Mickey, and they were like, we don't want you to do anything crazy. You're not going to drink. We're going to bring in a comedian. So they brought a bunch of us to the comic strip on the Upper East Side of Manhattan to find a comedian to do our post-prom. We watched a bunch of comedians do comedy, and we're like, all right, they want us to make good decisions. 
we watched this one guy do comedy. He was making jokes about his kids. And we were like, boring, next. <laughs> that was Ray Romano. You guys, we, <laughs> we passed on Ray Romano because we're like, boo, we don't like him. <laughs> so my point is kids can't make good decisions. Like, don't rely on kids. But I got hired in June to do a post-prom in Pennsylvania. So the prom is at a golf course, right? I'm like, maybe this is how they do it in Pennsylvania. I don't know. So I showed up to this golf course. There's like food carts. There's all this, like there's like trucks. There's like all this stuff is happening. I'm like, oh, they're playing cornhole. But I'm like, this must be a Pennsylvania thing. So I go to use the, the fancy porta potty. <laughs> and I identified myself in the porta potty because I felt like they'd be like, who is this? You know what I mean? Like, I'm not a mom. I'm not a student. Why am I awkwardly in the golf course prom porta potty? You know what I mean? So I was like, oh, like I'm the comedian. So these girls in the bathroom were like, oh, yeah, like we just want to dance. And I'm like, I get it. Don't worry. Like, we'll get to dancing soon. I'm going to do comedy. I start doing like my comedy show. There's these girls on the side. I couldn't tell if they were having a good, good time or not. I'm like, how are you guys doing? They're like, oh, we just want to dance. I'm like, don't worry. Like, I'll be done in five. <laughs> so then I, finally I'm like, oh my God, you guys, congratulations, class of 2021. I'm Regina Chico. Let's dance. The kids start like gr grinding on each other, making like they're literally like full on humping, like little John is playing. But then when they, they go crazy. When I say my name, they lose their minds. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm the best post prom comedian in the history of the world. It blows the roof out of the place. I walk off. The kids are like humping each other. I'm like, I'm the queen. <laughs> so then literally the moms come running down the grassy knoll of the golf course and they're, they're like no they're not allowed to dance <laughs> so i had no idea because of covid they couldn't dance but i'm literally like Regina chico congratulations to the class of 2021 fuck the rules let's <laughs> dance and they're like yeah and then literally what looked like the most beautiful prom i've ever seen all of a sudden it was like a super spreader and i was just like i'm just gonna yeah. i'm just gonna go I was like, I'm vaccinated i'm just gonna go like, i mean wild mickey foot wild footloose covid 19 yeah, <laughs> I footloose that problem, Mickey. I footloose them. That's how you do and it. And then I, I called the guy that hired me. I'm like, little problem, little problem. <laughs> I'm like, literally humping each other. I'm in the parking lot, gonna go. That check is gonna clear, right? Okay, great. Sorry, <laughs> sorry about the super spreader. Sorry about the super spreader. Uh, Couldn't tell you that story before, but now you know. Now I know. I appreciate it. No, listen, I'm glad I could. We've been waiting to curse for a long time. Or no, you haven't. You've probably just been wondering why I wasn't cursing. Yeah, I was like, there's no way that, <laughs> like, I, I get it that you don't curse the view, but like, there's no way well, Regina doesn't swear. I'm like, yo, did you fucking hear that, Whoopi? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, Joy. <laughs> Joy fucking Behar over here. No, we don't. <laughs> Here's another fucking hot topic. Okay, no, we would never. <laughs> Now, I'm, I'm, every time I talk now, I'm just going to look at Mickey and we'll just know that that's what's right. Guys, there's a lot of hats in here. Well, first of all, not a lot. There's two hats. But that's more hats. That's more hats. Frank gets it. And Mickey's got it. Guys, Bogdan's got a hat. Guys, this is a four hat event. You don't see four hat events, not in 2021, not post pandemic. People don't know how to accessorize anymore, but they do it the spice. That's what I like. Do you wear a lot of hats? Yeah. You do. Do you have a hat collection? Okay, you put. <laughs> I wear a lot of hats. I've got two hats. Um, do you, can you clean hats in between? No. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We're not judging. We're not smelling the hat. How about you have a lot of hats? How many is a lot? Can you? Okay, listen, it's coming in at 10 hats. So you're two collection. <laughs> but coming in at 10 hats, you're really a hat wearer. Do you ever hat? Yeah, you, you steal them sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you do? Sun protection, good, SPF. Guys, so this is just a PSA. Nobody wants skin cancer. Thanks for coming to this spice. Where your SPF. <laughs> we like to end it on a note where we just make people better people. That's terrible. You know, <laughs> <laughs> Save yourself. Get a hat. That's what we just like to give the people a message, Mickey. We like yeah. to give them a message. Apparently that's the message. Get a hat. <laughs>